he sounded like a little quiet little you know a bubble fart a lot more air than sharks right peace and blessings you ugly mofos and welcome to another episode of he rants i am your host felix long trousers man check this out man it's your first time on he rants so let's let you know i'm just a random guy who likes to talk about random stuff that interests me and i just feel like i need to inform you guys about it if that sounds sexy or attractive to you make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notifications that way you always be one of the first people to hear the voice of long trousers because my voice is also so sensual and at the same time leave a like it only takes one second man i really really do appreciate it because i'm so damn insecure and at the same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. But let's not waste no more time, man. We gotta get into the first story. We gotta talk about a story coming out of Indiana, man, by a guy by the name of Malik Half Acre. I think that's how you say his name. Last name Half Acre. Uh, this POS uh, got into a situation with, I guess, the people around him. And he killed four people, quadruple homicide, because of the stimulus checks that just dropped. I can't, like, the story goes like this. The guy Malik, you know, the stimulus just hit $1,400, right? Everybody's feeling like this $1,400 is going to change their life, I guess, at this point. I'm not sure. It's $1,400, that's just somebody's rent, honestly. Well, if you live in, I guess in Indiana, the cost of living is pretty cheap, so maybe that might be two months' rent. I'm not sure, but... He decided to go to his baby mother's house by the name of, I think her name is Jeanette, man, her name is crazy, Janetrius Moore. Her name is like four, like like 11 letters, like that. Like black people, we gotta, these names, man. I guess we're, we're being creative, right? You're expressing yourself, but these names, bro. But listen, so he goes over to his baby mother's house, and then once, upon arriving there, he asks for the money his half of the stimulus check so he's asking for 700 dollars right because he feels like that's fair being that he was the other half of having his child right but janitra is more I'm, I'm i'm not sure like they didn't release the full information i'm assuming that maybe the child spends most of the time with her and he she probably spends most of the money for the child i'm assuming i'm not sure maybe she might be a, a bad baby mother that's just like stingy as hell i'm not sure they're not releasing the full story but she did not want to give him the whole 700 she said i will give you 400 and some chains i believe right and apparently he did not see that as fair and i can understand why but to take it this far is ridiculous so he did not see that as fair and he just kept on demanding like listen he wants 700 dollars. he wants the extra money he needs that money right and she stood firm she was like no she's not gonna give him the money right and that led oh my gosh to him killing i believe his daughter no not his daughter but a daughter that she had with a previous uh, in a previous relationship and i believe uh her brother i'm assuming and two under uh, two other individuals is freaking oh god People who he shot were, I believe, 44-year-old Tamika Brown, um, Anthony Johnson, who I think is 35 years old, um, the daughter, Eve Moore, who is seven years old, which is sad, and I think the brother, who's Daquan Moore, who is 23 years old, man, it's, it's freaking sad, right? So, uh, you know, police was called, gunshots, and they found the four dead bodies there, right? And I'm not sure the article doesn't really explain well i'm, I'm assuming janitrius didn't get shot he didn't shoot her i'm i'm, I'm assuming because it doesn't say they always said four fatalities and you know once upon doing the shooting he grabbed his infant daughter and drove away and they eventually caught him they caught him the same day so he didn't get that far so this guy man i don't know what the rules are in indiana right but if he's going to prison oh his butt is getting destroyed i'm pretty sure inmates even though they've they probably lived a life of crime they don't like this type of stuff right i'm assuming at least so i'm pretty sure he'd probably get destroyed but i don't know i'm not sure man i'm not sure how it goes i hope they destroy his butt hole. i hope they just oh shred it just a bloody butthole son of just oh just just butt pain and we got to talk about this guy Charlemagne the god man Charlemagne the god he's in the news recently because you guys heard about the whole situation when Charlemagne was on the breakfast club pretty much talking about drake and saying that 
at this point, I feel like we're past the Drake era, right? Drake has had a long run. He's been hot since 20, wait, 2009? He's been hot since like 2009, 2008 and such. You know, he's been having his run, but now it's time to move on to other artists, right? Pretty much saying that, in a, in a friendly way of saying like, this guy pretty much fell off at this point, right? And I think Drake heard that. So like I said before, this guy Drake heard that, and so he answered. So he released those three songs, Wants and Needs, Lemon Pepper, Freestyle, or what's the other one? Uh, what's Next? Right? You know what I'm saying? And those songs all hit the billboards at one, two, and three, son. This guy hit the trifecta. Ignore my son crying in the background if you can hear it through the mic. I'm not going to re-record this. I don't care. All right? I'm not a deadbeat dad, but this damn child of mine, I swear, if it's not, if it's not the child, it's these dogs in this damn place, man. There's a whole house, there's a whole house, a three-story house. They can be anywhere else, but oh, when daddy's making a freaking video, let's go to the base. So Charlemagne came out and pretty much said like, listen, man, uh, congrats on this guy for the album, right? The three-song album and everything, he did his thing, but at the same time he said that he cheated right and he said that listen at this point in your career drake this is not enough you got to come out with a real classic album you know like the blueprint and all those stuff like jay-z Nas, all them at this point in your career you're too old to be dropping these little mini albums and such right and i don't know i feel like that's way of this guy Charlemagne not admitting that he was wrong right he's saying that he cheated how do you say that he cheated he dropped bangers bro and he and he said something about the radio the way the radio and streaming has worked it's it's in his favor and such i'm like okay then if that's the case if that is what is going on then why is it not other artists why is it not working for them hmm? it's like Charlamagne, man just take the l man just take the l you're wrong we're still in the drake era and I'm happy for it. I love Drake, son. Drake is making great, great music that I say I just want to drive home. Like, Drake is, makes the type of music, right, that once you go out, right, you're trying to go to a girl's house. She lets you come over, right? You're thinking you'll be able to smash. And then she doesn't let you hit, right? You're upset and everything. So you're driving back home, especially because you might have drove very, very far. You might have drove about 30 minutes to get to her house. You know, probably will stop by a gas station, got the rhino pill. Don't look at me like you never got the rhino pill. You've gotten it before. You wanted to see if it really worked. You wanted to rock that girl's life. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to smash really, really strong. And then she'd tell her friends and all that. And she wants seconds. But she doesn't know that you took the rhino pill the first time. So the second time, you might only be able to last a few pumps, right? But that's not your problem. Because now you get to say you hit twice, right? Because she can deny the first body, right? She can always be like, oh, yeah, because it only happened once. And I'm like, okay, that's the, we're not going to count that as a body. But now that you smashed twice, this is a confirmed kill. She can't. This is a kill and a kill confirmed. That's for the people out there who play college of duty right but now that you didn't smash you're going home with this a huge erection because you had the rhino pill you popped it halfway through probably 15 minutes before you got there and such with a nice bottle of the sunny water now you're going back and you have to listen to drake because drake makes you feel like listen f that hoe man you know what i'm saying she she didn't deserve me she didn't deserve me she didn't deserve the dick right you know what I'm saying? That's what Drake, Drake is here for those type of moments. We gotta talk about this girl, Wendy Williams, man. This woman, this very, very handsome masculine woman known as Wendy Williams, the bug-eyed, masculine, strong f head from Ed, Ed, and Eddie head having Wendy. Here I come, I am Cinnamon Apple Jacks. Oh, cookies, what was that guy? The, the Toucan Sand skeeter from the 1997 cartoon doug you can sometimes see that on nickelodeon i'm not sure if they're still showing it but i'm pretty sure it might be on nick at night i'm not sure right wendy williams right we're talking about her because recently she was going on her show talking garbage about people like she usually does right pretty much solidifying that kim kardashian yes yeah, she was talking about kim kardashian and kanye right their whole divorce and everything pretty much solidifying that this woman, Kim Kardashian, may be a part of the Street Coalition. I don't think we needed her strong-ass confirmation on that. I think a lot of us know at this point. We're just waiting to see her move, right? Because it's like a chess match, right? Now she divorces her husband and everything. Now the first guy is the first victim, right? And then she moves from there. Would I be surprised? Would I be shocked if Kim Kardashian ended up smashing Joe Biden? I don't think so. You guys might be shocked. I would be shocked. Listen, the streets is making moves, all right? They're making movements, all right? Nothing is a surprise anymore to me, man. I wouldn't be surprised. If Kim Kardashian said that she smashed the Pope, I would not be 
So Butch Face Wendy Williams, right, decided to speak on it and say, like, listen, Kim Kardashian probably has gotten five guys by now, right? And she's not talking about the restaurant. She's talking about actual five human beings, five penises, or as the, you know, foreigners like to say, penises. You know what I'm saying? Five penises. You feel me? So that's, the you know, for me, that's a little bit of a lower number than I would expect, right? Especially now that she's a free bird, a free, there goes my son again, making noise, but I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to restart this. I'm not let him destroy this video, but we're going to keep going, all right? But yeah, so... By her making those comments, right, I feel like God has had enough, right? He just had enough. You know, one time she was on uh, she was on her show and then she fainted, right? She just randomly just looked off into this and just fell over and fainted and stuff, right? It was kind of hilarious. I know a lot of people were sad because like, oh man, she might be going through some health crisis and all that stuff. I'm like, all right, listen, she alive, she's alive, she's good. All right, and that was freaking hilarious, all right? You know, I, I don't care what anybody say. You can call me bad for that. It's freaking hilarious. She just fainted right there and her eyes got big as hell like dinner plates big dinner plate eyes you know what i'm saying so hey it is what it is so once she was talking god struck her down with the burp right so she burped and not right after she burped she then farted right she then farted he sounded like a little quiet little you know a bubble fart a lot more air than sharks right but i'm praying to god that a little bit of doo-doo might have hit the dress i'm just hoping I'm just hoping just a tiny bit of doo-doo just to teach her a lesson, right? At the same time, I can't get mad at one Wendy Williams because I do exactly the same thing as her. But when I do it, I'm joking for the most part, for the most part, except for the street coalition jokes. Those those are actually I actually feel serious about those because when I say 2021 is the year of the streets, I'm not joking. And I feel like a lot of people need to report on this, right? Everybody needs to make jokes. There need to be memes with her, with poop on her and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I also heard, and I guess she proved this wrong. I heard if you fart and burp at the same time, you will die. And this was something I heard as a young child with my older brother. And now I realized that he was, mm, he was lying to me this whole time, which gets me mad that he's one of the stereotypical older brothers that will lie to me and something like this. That's, that's got me really upset because if, if she had died, right? Let's be honest, right? Everybody would be sad, right? Even though she talks a lot of garbage, everybody would be sad, including me. But I'm still going to laugh. Think about that, right? Think about the way that you died. You died from farting and burping at the same time, right? And just like when I was seeing that movie, Seven Pound Will Smith. Yes, it was sad. It was a tragic movie, right? Because he died at the end by a jellyfish. But at the same time, really think about it. He died at the end by a jellyfish. That just sounds like... Uh, how did he die? Uh, jellyfish killed him. Right? Think about that. It's jellyfishes. The thing that SpongeBob used, like, he catches that for sport. He goes around with a net catching jellyfishes. That's what he does. SpongeBob, softest guy in the sea. He did that. And now you, Will Smith, has been killed by a jellyfish. It's hilarious. I don't care what anybody say, right? But that's all the news I got for today, man. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. I love you, man. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That will always be one of the first people to hear the voice of Long Trucks. At the same time, like I said, I'm so damn insecure, so please leave a like. It only takes one second, man. It makes me feel like I'm doing a stand-up job. And at the same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. And that's all I gotta say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out.